Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Keto Jamaican Girl here. Um, today I'm going to share with you a major milestone, not specifically health related, but it is something important to my vlogging and blogging journey. You know, I've been sharing with you my weight loss journey and um, I just wanted to share this moment with you because it is a momentous occasion. Um, I have always been an Android user for basically my entire life, um, over 10 plus years. Um, but because I want to present the best quality of uh, food videos, food pictures to all my followers, I decided to make this switch. It was very hard. It's still very hard. I just got it. But I wanted to just share my initial reactions um, during this transition. It's hard, guys. You know, you really have to bear with me because, yeah, I'm just joking. But, uh, yeah, this, it's it's a big deal to me and I'm really nervous. So, ah, here we go. So, I went and I got the iPhone 11. I got the purple because I am the girliest girl ever. And here is the box. The guy at the store, he opened um, the box because he started to set it up for me. Um, so... I'm not going to be able to peel the plastic off, but I can show you all the other stuff because it hasn't been completely unboxed yet. So here it is. I got the lavender. It's probably not going to show with the case that I use, but we'll see. Where do you guys get your cases? Please help me out. Um, this is all new to me. Let me know uh, what types of cases are the best so that I don't lose all of my money after it gets cracked. Let me know. So we're going to open it now. <laughs> so yeah here it goes in the box it's cute it has two cameras there that's something that we don't have uh, well I didn't have with my last Android and that's one of the things with Android you know we have a lot of variety we have a lot of different um, types of phones the one I had did not have two but I'm, I'm probably sure that um, other Androids have more than one so here here she is. Also in this box we have this with some paper in it and we'll look at what's inside of that. Then we have here I guess the plug to charge it and we have some AirPods. I see wires in here so these are not air pods these are not the ones that i see all of you guys using these are the ones with the wire so i guess i'm gonna have to spend more money to go and get that fancy smashy stuff that you guys are using yes all shade because in my heart i'm still team android i have to be convinced to leave that team probably not gonna happen but you know i'm doing what i have to do <laughs> here is you know, the cord to charge it and the plug so that seems to be all that's in there. Let's see what's in this little packet here. Oh, it says hello. Then I have this thing here. I have no clue what it is. You guys are going to have to help me and tell me what this is and what I'm supposed to be doing with it. No clue. Team Android over here. So I don't know what that is. It's pointing to the side of the phone. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. Then I have this here. I guess I'm supposed to put this, this sticker on. Why do I have two? I'm supposed to put this sticker on the back of the phone. Please help me out, guys, because I'm so lost. And I have instructions here that I'm going to take a minute and I'm going to review. Um while uh, I'm transitioning my phone. So the transition to my phone from my Android is going to happen through an app called Move to iOS. That's what I was told at the store in order to get the majority of my information because I was told I'm going to lose some of my information but the majority of my information will be transferred through the app called Move to iOS. So I'm going to do that now and get back to you with whatever I can review in this short space of time. Give me two seconds. So I did the transition using the Move to iOS app and like I said, some of my information uh, was lost. Um, 
I think I may have to figure out how to properly connect my uh, Gmail. I think I did it in the setup process, but I think I have to go back in the settings. Like I said, I've been Android forever, so I'm still figuring it out. Uh, but this is what the screen looks like. It's pretty. And you guys already saw the purple at the back. I'm really liking this color. It's cute. But I mean, Android gives us options for different color phones too. So, so. <laughs> but yeah, um, I have to download uh, all the apps I used to use. I have to re-download them. Um, so let's weigh some pros and cons or what I'm noticing so far. Um, when I'm touching the screen, I guess I'm used to the way I, I touched it on my Android. It's like I have to do more of a tap than a hold down. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's not responding when I'm touching it the way I'm used to touching my Android. Ooh. Yes, the way I used to touch my Android. But yeah, um, so I'm getting used to that. Um, I'm also having to get used to um, not having any buttons. Uh, you see here, uh, you have to slide. I have to keep sliding for everything. I put a little code there. So yeah, there are no buttons there and I'm getting used to, you know, swiping up for everything. So there's a little muscle memory that has to be worked out there. Um, so far, it seems like an okay phone. I'm not thrilled by it. I'm really here for the camera. Like I told you, I need better quality when I'm out. I'm doing my grocery hauls or my, my impromptu cooking videos that I want to share some ingredients that I just figured out. So yeah, I'm here for the camera. Um, the camera looks really good. Me I'm told that I can get 4K video footage from this phone. Um, so yeah, I, so far I like it. I can do a video update in about two weeks to see if I'm dying and really want to go back to my Android but just use this for filming. Um, I have my Android here. I didn't give it up. I'm not selling it. So I'm going to be using two phones. Um, because I, I really love Android. But um, I think I'm going to be okay with this iPhone 11. And um, let me know what accessories I should be looking into. Please let me know what apps that are popular with iPhone users. Oh, so that's one thing. Um, everything needs to be purchased with app. Well, there are some free apps, but like ringtones now I have to buy. I mean stop so now i have to buy ringtones i can't just download it but i guess there's safety in that whatever but um yeah i feel like apple is very restrictive so that's a major con there's a lot of rules and a lot of boundaries uh with android um i'm allowed to kind of do whatever i want and download whatever i want and a lot of it is free so that i guess that's a major comparison that I'm noticing but I'm gonna come back with an update but be on the lookout guys for better footage from me keto Jamaican girl tune back in for um videos and hauls and weight loss I've been you know snapping back you know getting cute so yeah thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my future videos please like comment subscribe and I'm open to advice like I said I'm new um to this iPhone phone world and I am lost. So please guys advise me on what I should be doing to get the most out of this iPhone experience. I'm not completely disappointed. I'm nervous. Help me out. Thanks for watching. Bye.